So how can we draw various shapes or images using OpenCV that has variety of usages in building computer vision related applications like cam scanner etc. You will see our various applications of it in the later videos. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I am going to show you the steps to draw various shapes like square, circle, rectangle, a line etc. using OpenCV. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. Also we now have the AI University mobile app and the website which is in the beta mode right now. You can download the code related Jupyter Notebooks by enrolling to this course right here on the AI University website. All of the courses offered on uh, this website are free. You can access the related quizzes and certificate of course completion like this from the AI University. Once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. Here we will see how to create the black square image. Okay, so here you can see that we are importing uh, our uh, OpenCV module CV2. Uh, then we have this NumPy library to work with the images because we know that images are stored as an array on computer. To create a black image, we use NumPy's zeros function to create an array which contains dimensions as 1024 by 1024, that is height and width as 1024 by 1024. You can also see that there is one more argument which is 3. And what does it represent? Well, it represents the color channel RGB or BGR. Next we have defined the data type of this array as unsigned int by making use of this argument uint8. In the next line I am making use of show function to showcase this square image. Usage of wait key and destroy all window uh, you are already aware of. If not then you can watch this video to know more. Link is given in the i button above. So let me run this cell real quick. So when I run the cell you can see that a black square image has been generated. So let's close this. Now let's draw a line over this black square. And in order to do that, we will be making use of a CV2 or OpenCV's line function, as you can see here. So first, we are again creating this black image on which we want to uh, create uh, this line, okay? Right here. In the next line, uh, we are using this line function. So this function has uh, several arguments. Let me explain them one by one. So number one is a black underscore image which stores image in array form. Next we have a tuple 1 1 which is nothing but the coordinates of the starting position of the line. Next set of tuples 250 250 represents ending position of the line. Next we have these three uh, numbers uh, mentioned inside the bracket 100, 255, 0. These are the values inside the bracket which represents the fluorescent color of our line in BGR format. Last parameter 4 represents the thickness of the line. Okay, and then in the next line, I am using I am show function to showcase. So, this is not the blue line, this is the fluorescent line. Okay, and so I am using this uh, I am show function to basically uh, draw a line over this black image. So, let me run the cell. Perfect. So you can see that when I ran the cell, a green diagonal line has been drawn over the black image. Now this black image dimensions I have defined here as 512 and 512, okay, instead of 1024, 1024, because it was quite a big, uh, you know, image. So I thought of uh, reducing the size so that you can see the line clearly drawn. Now let's draw a circle. So here we are making use of circle function 
almost all other code is same except this particular line which is circle function so here we are drawing a circle by making use of opencv circle function and here we are passing arguments inside it so the first argument is the black image which we are creating here on which we want to draw this circle next we have tuple 200 200 which is nothing but the center coordinates of the circle next we have radius value of the circle which is 75 so 75 depicts the radius of the circle and these are the two things we actually uh, you know require whenever we generate a circle a center and the radius next we have these three uh, values mentioned inside the bracket 255 0 and 0 which represents the color of the circle and here we have uh, the color of this circle as blue because for blue we have mentioned 255 and for green and red it is mentioned as 0 0 respectively and the last argument is minus 1 which represents that we want to basically uh, create a circle which is solid or color filled circle let's see what I'm talking about so let's run the cell you can see that a circle has been drawn which is blue in color and which is solid entirely filled okay and if you don't want to uh, draw this kind of circle then you can just replace minus 1 with 4 uh, which is 4 uh, says the thickness of the boundary of the circle so let's rerun this cell once again now you can see that circle is no more filled now let's draw a rectangle so here we are making use of rectangle function and here we are passing the argument values inside uh, this rectangle function so the first argument is again black image on which we want to draw this rectangle next we have a tuple 50 100 which is nothing but the coordinates of the starting position of the rectangle next set of tuples 250 250 represents ending point of the rectangle then we have another argument which is uh, few values mentioned inside this bracket 110 110 and 90 and these represents the color gray of our rectangle in BGR format last parameter is again I have mentioned as minus one uh, because I wanted to solid fill this rectangle but you can change it to four to basically show it the un show the unfilled rectangle depicting only the boundary of that rectangle okay so let me read on the cell great so you can see that a rectangle has been drawn which is gray in color now we can also add a text to our images uh, by making use of a put text function which is mentioned here the arguments to this function so again um, entire code remains same only difference is this particular line which is put text line and the argument to this function are again black image on which we want to uh, write this text then we have the text that we want to write so on our black image this particular text will be written this is awesome okay then we have these uh, the tuple of coordinates 10 and 100 where we want to show this image okay so this will be the starting position of the coordinates where uh, where this text will be written then we have the font of the text which is mentioned here as font Hershey script complex okay we have several other uh, fonts available as well that you can see here okay so these are the available fonts which you can use next we have a font size which is mentioned as 2 here followed by the color and thickness of the font so this is the color and this is the thickness of the font so let me run the cell perfect so you can see that a text this is awesome has been written over this black image now in case if you want to draw our polygon you can do that as well in OpenCV so let me show you how to do it in order to draw a polygon uh, we first need to define four points which are nothing but the four corners of any polygon okay and we can do that by making use of this np.array function inside which we are defining four co coordinates here right 25 65 415 65 80 150 and then lastly 400 500 
so these values will be in integer form as mentioned here in 32 and it is then stored in a matrix called as PTS in the next line I'm just reshaping uh, these points using reshape function so the reshape function is used to give a new shape to an array without changing its data this is required so that polygon can process it in the form required by them okay then in the next line we are making use of this polylines function to draw the polygon inside this function first we are passing the black image on which we want to uh, draw this polygon followed by the coordinates of the polygon in the array form the parameter true represents whether you want this image to be closed or not then we have the color of the polygon which is white and the thickness of the polygon which is 3 so let me run this cell so when I run this cell you could see that a polygon has been drawn right so folks uh, this is it for this video hope you learned something new today in the next upcoming video I will cover another important topic of the computer vision using OpenCV series so here is today's question in order to draw the solid or filled circle what is the numeric parameter we assigned to the circle function please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you